Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little bit of a video introducing some of the new products I released and talking about some of the work I've been doing over the last year and a half or so to kind of develop my brand a little bit more and take things in a bit of a different direction. To music and it's like a product um, haul. So over the last like 18 months or so, I've been developing my brand towards the direction of releasing like a product line. I started out with releasing first like my merch store through Teespring where we did a bunch of like graphic tees and just printed shirts. Oh boy. So I started my product line first with Teespring, which started several years ago and it's just a drop shipping company. So I was pretty limited in what products I could release. So it was mostly just graphic tees and printed products that could have designs printed onto them and not a whole lot of room for individuality and like designing my own stuff, but it was the most practical and the lowest cost. Over the last year, I was really wanting to do some of my own products and trying to look into the viability of it. And as someone who's starting their own business, it's, it's hard to order in a lot of products. Uh, and I don't think people necessarily realize the sheer amount of money that you need in order to do that. So it was a really big undertaking and it's been a journey to say the least, but we're finally here and I'm actually wearing products with my own brand on them that were created specifically for me and my brand. Uh, which is pretty cool um, and yeah getting help from like these little farts oh no he got bit by a horse fly oh baby so can you tell us a little bit about the fit on your line so for me like a big thing for me is comfort and one of the problems i ran into with equestrian products personally is i don't like like i like the feel of a fitted shirt but i don't like it when it's feeling like it's restricting my arms so I wanted to get like a well-fitted shirt that's still light and comfortable and stretchy enough that you don't feel like you're being restricted. And that's kind of what I've done here where like the arms are fitted and it's fitted and stretchy, but it's not squishing you to death. And the material- Apparently oh he likes God. them too. And then, ah! <laughs> and the material itself is really stretchy and comfortable and sweat wicking and breathable, which was important for me and i i'm hoping to, i'm hoping to move towards eventually being able to release a variety of different fits so we can have like slim curvy tall short and like petites and more plus size range and whatnot um but like i said the amount of volume that you need to order in like quantity wise and the amount of money you need to pay up up front to do that is really difficult and so that's what makes it hard to expand the size range and honestly, for a lot of small businesses, I think this is the reason behind why it's harder to expand the size range immediately, just because when you're starting out, you need to buy stuff that'll sell and the most popular sizes are what sell out first, which makes it really hard to extend the size range if you're not sure you're going to sell all your products. What is the current size range right now? Right now I have sizes extra small to 3XL in most of my products. I think the small, like the, the smallest uh, product that I have goes up to size 2XL. So we do have quite a range and I'm hoping to expand it more because I want to be able to include everyone. And I also want to expand to unisex sizing so that people who don't want to buy gendered clothing have options as well. Uh, another one of my new releases it's the sunset skies base layer it's got baby pink and it's a nice periwinkle blue um, we just recently released this one so it's just available in store right now I'm kind of just experimenting with color and ordering in things that I like to test them and offering them for sale so we don't really have any firm color runs that are definitively going to be restocking time after time so if you're interested in any of the colors I would recommend shopping before they sell out because can you tell us a little bit about how you were able to branch out from doing the Teespring uh, line and onto something that was more varied? How did you find suppliers? Sort of what was the process with all of that? These guys are helping a lot, I can see. So I was really fortunate that my friend Callie was starting up her own little online tax store and she'd already sourced some really good suppliers. So I was able to go through her and test out some of her suppliers. And then I was also actually sought out by certain suppliers for them to send me samples that I de then tested. 
but really Cali is what made it possible for me because packing and shipping the amount of volume of products that we've been getting in with, while I'm working full time as a trainer would just be not possible while managing everything else that I'm doing. So she was He's really stealing key. the show. He was she was really key to helping me with that. All right. How stressful has it been trying to branch out and do this? Very, because <laughs> honestly, you don't know stress really, I guess, until you're handing off thousands of dollars to someone you don't know with products that you don't know are going to sell. So it's been really important to kind of have trust in my customer base, I guess. And also, I just really appreciate people wanting to support my small business because they want to support me. What are your future plans with the company? Do you have any kind of upcoming or new ideas in the works or sort of longer term what you think you'd want to do with the business? Um, I have a lot of ideas, like more ideas than I can manage at this given time. So it ultimately depends on expansion. Like there's a lot of things that I'd like to do, but I first need to sell products and continue expanding the brand. And then once that kind of starts building traction, it gives me a lot more freedom to keep building. Um, but I want to expand the products line with more sizing and be more size inclusive and also continue expanding like the availability for bridles and have different leather colors, different types of leather if people want to get synthetic leathers or get higher end quality leathers um, and offer all sorts of options to kind of meet all, all types of budgets and all types of needs. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to move towards. But first, I just need to kind of build the business and start. <laughs> Why did you have to sneeze in my face? <laughs> One thing I was lucky about with starting my business is that I'd already done a pretty decent job of like branding myself and getting the logos made before I actually really needed them. So getting like all the hang tags and like the branding on the actual stuff wasn't something that I needed to do when I was starting the company because I already had my logos and my brand and whatnot. But it's been really exciting to see my logo on stuff and on tags like this. Um, this is a logo I've used for a while. I actually got it made I think back when I was like 18 or something. Um, by someone that I became friends with on Tumblr, Amber Greason. She's an excellent graphics designer. If you need any logos done, go check her out. So this shirt is one of my recent summer releases. It's named after my mom here, Lisa, the Lisa laser cut short sleeve summer shirt. It's super lightweight and cool. And the laser cut provides like ventilation while making it into like a super cute little design. So this is actually my favorite release of the summer stuff that I've done personally. It's my favorite shirt to wear um, on really hot days, especially if I remember to wear sunscreen. Otherwise I wear long sleeves. So another part of starting a business is that when you're testing out products, you have to order in a bunch of samples and that's where you can also lose a lot of money if the samples come in and they're not what you want or they're not the quality you want. This is a sample that I really liked and that actually did work out, but I ultimately decided not to order this in for the summer because I couldn't offer that many new designs, which is why I went with the Lisa laser cut and the rose lace one that I had. I wasn't sure if this one would sell quite as well as those other two, even though I really like it. So that's kind of one of the challenges when you're restricted with how much you can do based off of what you can afford. This is definitely something that I would like to release in the future because it's super cute and I think people would like it. So I want to be able to start to branch out and offer more styles and kind of experiment with different types of styles that I like. Um, and have the freedom to do so without worrying about losing too much money. So that's the goal. We got to get there first. Uh, I can't get too far ahead of myself. Oh. This is another one of the summer releases, the Rose Lace uh, short sleeve riding shirt. Uh, this one's named after my grandma Rose. Um, it's super cute. Again, athletic fabric, so you can wear this for sports stuff, even though it looks cute. It's sweat wicking, it's breathable, it's lightweight, and it's really, really comfortable. And we got some nice rhinestone button detailing. I really like these ones as well. They're fun. I just get white stained easier. So I, the, the Lisa one's one that I can't stain as easily. This is another one of my base layer color releases. This is the Seafoam. Um, it's a nice kind of like sage green. And then I also have a dark um, spruce colored evergreen dark green base layer that's the same as this one they're the first two base layer colors that I released um, these two like both of the two colors are almost sold out so there's a few sizes remaining I don't know if these will be getting restocked so if you like this color I would get in there fast 
I want to do another video about the development of my bridles as well and how that part of my business went because it is different than apparel in terms of testing and orders and it's more finicky when you're making changes to the product. I found apparel to be a lot more straightforward personally so I'm going to go into that in another video but if anyone has any questions that they'd like to ask about my business that they'd like to see answered feel free to comment them below and I'll try to get through as much as possible to kind of show the process of it all so people can understand what goes into it. Yeah, so thank you to everyone who's uh, supported me so far. Whether you've tried products or not, like being able to build this business was because of people's support and belief in me before. So I'm super appreciative of all of that and I'm excited to see where it goes in the future and I'm hoping I can continue building and expanding this and offering more products to appeal to people from all different backgrounds and all different sizes and all different preferences for style and color. Uh, so that's the goal there. If you're interested in checking out what if you're interested in checking out any of my products you can go on the amorequestrian.ca website and if you go under the milestone page that's where all of my products are and you can find my bridles i just dropped the new rose gold bitless and bitted bridles so there's limited quality quantities for that for the first release and then all of the clothes the original harlow and milo anatomical bridles um, my sample breeches and these and I'm having some sales so that people can try several different types of shirts if they want. So I'm doing buy two shirts, get the third 30% off. Go. And the 30% off code will be automatically applied at checkout. And then I also have buy three, get one 50% off. So if you do that, you can use the code BOGO, B-O-G-O -O, at checkout and get 50% off. Yeah, so thank you everyone for your support of my products and I'm hoping for continued expansion. And I would love for some of you to check them out because the more products that can sell, the more freedom I have to continue trying new things and getting in more stuff that people want to try. And honestly, like looking at this shirt now, like I really wish I got this one in. God damn. Yeah, so Banksy's sweaty because it's, oh my God, why are you just biting the chair, you freaking idiot? <laughs>